Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. We have a very exciting video today. This is probably the most asked about brand on my channel. A lot of you guys are curious about Kira Weiss. It is a very high-end luxury green beauty brand. It is an organic brand. There are 95% organic ingredients or more depending on the product. So this is sort of the luxe creme de la creme of the green beauty world. And they were kind enough to send me their skin trifecta which consists of their beautiful oil. It's an oil to prep the skin both before makeup and also just to use in your skincare routine. Their foundation, which has been award-winning. So many people love it and so many people told me I would love it. And then their new setting powder, which you guys know I have actually done a full review on, so you can go ahead and check that out if you want to. Spoiler alert, I love the powder. But I'm really excited to be showing you these three products and how I use them to create a really flawless, glowing complexion, which I think would be great for any holiday parties, anything you have coming up, or honestly on an everyday basis. I think that's one of the things I have discovered with these products is that they're so versatile. You can either really build them up and then you have a full coverage look, or you can wear them in a really lightweight manner, which makes it an everyday look. So again, you have that versatility on both ends of the spectrum. We are going to talk about packaging, price point, formula, all of that. So I think what we'll do is just go product by product. That'll be easiest and I'll show you guys how I apply it and the tips and tricks I have learned along the way. So anytime I review a brand like this, I always do a little bit of research on the background. Kirsten, the founder, is a very accomplished makeup artist who felt like there was a hole in the market for natural cosmetics that are not only good for your skin, but they're also consistent formulas and they perform as well as conventional beauty. She shares a story about how oftentimes when she would do an editorial look, she would hear models saying, I can't wait to get this off my face and she wanted to solve that problem. She wants people to have this makeup on and feel like they can wear it the rest of the day afterwards and they're not itching to get it off of their face. And I have to say, based on trying these three products, I think she has accomplished that goal. All of the formulas are very lightweight and very comfortable. This is probably the most non-offensive cream foundation I have ever tried, meaning that you really don't feel it on your skin and it blends so seamlessly with sort of your skin chemistry that you don't even see it. So starting off with the first product that I will be using to prep my skin is the Beautiful Oil. This is a skincare product for them. All Kier Weiss products come with this beautiful red packaging. I think that the brand really set out to do packaging well and to make sure that these products, despite being natural and clean, felt very luxurious. The actual bottle itself is glass, and then you have a dropper system. Once you pull off the cap, you unscrew the dropper and you're able to apply as much or as little as you want. Now, besides this just being a beautiful bottle, all of Kira Weiss's products are refillable, so that actually factors into the price tag. So this comes in two sizes, 65 milliliters and 30 milliliters. I have the 30 milliliter oil, and this would retail for $150 and the refill retails for $135. Now for the 65 milliliter, it is a larger price tag. It is $225 and the refill would be $190. The whole idea behind the packaging, which I think you'll see over and over again, is that it's supposed to be a one-time purchase. So it's like purchasing jewelry. It's like purchasing something really nice that you will use over and over again. And that way, instead of having to pay the full price tag, you're paying about 30 to 40 percent less on the refills. The oil has a 12 month shelf life. Like most of their products, the only product I'm going to show you today that doesn't is the powder, which is only six months. So this is actually meant to prep the skin. It's filled with really beautiful oils. I'm going to be applying it right now. I use about three to four generous drops. In a lot of the videos and information I read, they said five to six, but I found that that was too much for my skin. So I'm just going to be applying three to four generous drops onto the back of my hand and then using my finger to start blending that in. Now, like I said, this has really wonderful, beautiful oils in it. It has jojoba seed oil, almond seed oil, olive oil, and rose hip seed oil. And it just smells so incredible. This is probably one of my favorite smelling facial oils. As you can see, I'm just sort of like using my fingers to massage it into the skin. 
And one thing about this oil to keep in mind, I know that oils can be maybe a little bit intimidating to put on before your foundation because you're worried about it slipping around, but this is a dry oil. So what's gonna happen is that it will actually sink into your skin and it's not going to be slippery on the surface. It actually makes a really great priming step and sort of replaces all of those conventional primers that you see that have silicone in them, which would uh, create a base that's a little bit more flawless and easy to work with and layer things on top of. This acts as a silicone, despite the fact that there's no silicone in this formula. I've actually been having some skin trouble <laughs> with the holidays and the amount of dairy that I've been eating. And so I've been really cautious about what I'm putting on my skin. And I'm so thankful to have this foundation and this oil and this makeup right now because it really does feel more like skincare than makeup. Your skin just feels so hydrated and so soft. And I honestly feel like my skin feels better when I take the makeup off. I'm like, oh wow, my skin feels so nourished. So I spend about like two to three minutes, they say just three to four minutes um, just massaging it in and making sure that my skin has sort of absorbed all of it this would be a great time if you have a jade roller to go ahead and use that I give myself just like a little facial massage and honestly sometimes I don't even do that I just start applying the foundation so <laughs> you can be as good about this as you want you don't have to spend as much time as I do I'm just gonna make sure all my hair is out of my face. So once that has sunk in, then I go ahead in with my foundation. I have the foundation in the color Ethereal. There are 18 shades, so hopefully you will be able to find your shade within their range. I do find that this might be a little bit warm for my skin. I'm still playing around with it and can't quite tell if it's the perfect shade or not. I might need to swatch a couple of others and see where I fit in better. But the foundation is a great example of their classic packaging. So as you can see, it has the red box to it again. When you actually open it, it swivels open. It's a very hefty, heavy and durable design. You definitely feel the weight of it. It reminds me a little bit of Lila B products, you know that weight that I always talk about. It definitely feels luxurious and this is the jewelry idea, right? That you only purchase this one time. And this is a great way for me to actually show you guys how to replace your inserts because what they did, which was so clever, is they sent me the empty foundation container and then they actually sent me the refill so I could show you guys how it works. I really love this idea that you're not over buying packaging all the time, that you're just buying these little cardboard inserts that are fully recyclable and you're just popping them into the pan. So what you do is you would get one of these cardboard inserts. The back has some perforation around the edges so it's very simple to pop it open and pop out the pan. Once you pop out the pan, the back of it corresponds with the magnet in the actual packaging and you literally just drop it in and it's immediately secure and I can show you it's not gonna fall out which is really nice. Now when you empty this and you're ready to replace it all you need is either a little pin or I actually used a safety pin. You take the sharper edge, the pointy edge, and there's a little hole in the bottom of the actual packaging. You simply poke whatever you have through the hole and it will pop the pan out. So the magnet is strong enough to hold this pan, but it's not super strong that it's actually hard to get the pan out. So it's a really simple way to replace it. And like I said, these replacements are 30 to 40% off compared to the full packaging, which would obviously normally include the product in it. So it is a more affordable option to try this brand. On top of that, if you are not a packaging buff like me and you're like, I don't care, I just want a good product, then just buy the refills and get a little Z palette that has a magnet on the back and pop the pans in the Z palette and then you are good to go. And like I said, this foundation has 18 shades, so there is a wide variety of shade range. It is a cream formula, a true cream formula. It does have a velvety finish though, so it's not gonna be super, super glowy or super um, slippery on the skin. Now the foundation with the packaging is $68 and then if you're just purchasing the refill, it is $40. Like I mentioned, it has a shelf life of 12 months, but that is after after opening. Before opening, it has a shelf life of 30 months. You will see when you first get the pan, they actually have a protective layer of what feels like wax paper. I'm not totally sure what it is, but wax paper that you actually peel off and then you have access to the product. 
Now this actually has coconut oil in it and for that reason I find it works best with applying with your fingers. I've done it with a brush, I have not done it with a sponge, I just don't like the idea of putting a sponge in here, I'm not sure why it's like a mental thing. But I've done it with a brush, it works okay but I do think you get the best pay off with your fingers and I think it's kind of nice and convenient to just use your fingers especially if you're working with your own palette and you're working on your own skin. What I ended up really doing when I was using a brush is that I would put it on with my brush and then I would sort of blend it in with my fingers. Now immediately when I put it on you can see that it can be a very full coverage foundation if you want. I could do a layer like this um, and blend it well all over my face and it would be very, very high coverage, um, but it would still not be super noticeable. It would still look very natural on my skin. So what I've really been doing is a mixture of full coverage and then shearing it out in the areas where I just want my natural skin to show through. So sort of like that. So now you can see, compared to my other side, how much more even my skin tone is. Here Weiss actually doesn't have a concealer, and that's because you can use the foundation as a concealer. So I'm just going in and applying a little bit right underneath my eyes. I do find that it creases like most cream products, so what I usually do is I place it, I do the rest of my makeup, I see where it creases, and I blend it there, and then I apply pressed powder, and that seems to help keep it in place better. But you can really just see the difference of the amount of light that that brought my face. So I'm just gonna go around and using my finger to place it, and then a clean finger to sort of pat it and blend it. I'm gonna go around my whole face and do this. Now I do find that using your fingers, it takes more time. I'm a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to skin. I think that's because I have problem skin per se. <laughs> sort of a sad way to say it. I just have skin that tends to break out. I have a little bit of pigmentation that I wish I could get rid of. And especially right now, I have a bit of hormonal skin, so some redness around my nose and mouth. And I've just found that this product works really well for my skin. It's almost like you don't have to blend it, which I think is the crazy part of it. It can be super full coverage, but really minimal blending is needed. So I always start towards the center of my face and in the areas that I need a little bit more coverage. And then I blend out and down, sort of down my neck. And that way I make sure I avoid that sort of line situation, because like I said, I'm not sure if it's oxidizing a little bit on me or if it's just slightly too warm of a color for my winter skin, but I do find that there is a bit of a difference between this and my natural skin tone. I do want to show you guys how it layers over problem areas and then I'll probably speed up the rest of my face to save you, but I want to show you how I can cover these red spots instantly. You guys see that? It's pretty incredible. And for me, I like it to um, still look really natural. So I tend to take that fuller coverage and keep squishing it and patting it into my face to sort of shear it out. But certainly you can leave it more full coverage or you can continue to just layer in the areas that you need it. So I'm just gonna go over that little spot again and you can see that spot has pretty much almost disappeared. I'm definitely a fan of spot concealing, so I'd probably go in with a smaller brush if I really wanted to hide it and kind of pack on the product there. But certainly the fact that I can just throw product on and I feel like it really helps and I feel like it's full coverage and high enough where I don't really need to go in with a concealer unless I'm really trying to make it invisible, that's great. Now I could continue to build this up and get, like I said, a very, very full coverage look, but I do have fuller coverage around my cheeks right here and right here, a little bit around my nose. I have barely any foundation up here, just enough to do some color correction, um, and everything is just blending very seamlessly. You also have to feel <laughs> your skin <laughs> after using this. It is so smooth. It is so smooth. So you can see my complexion just looks so much clearer. I feel so much brighter and so much more even 
it feels like nothing on your skin and that feeling stays with you the entire day and I think that's what sets this foundation apart from other high coverage foundations despite the fact that when you maybe put them on it doesn't feel super heavy a few hours later I do kind of itch to get them off of my skin because I can start to feel them and they feel sort of like uh, cakey and not great this one seriously feels weightless all day and your skin just gets softer and softer so I'm quickly going to apply some blush, some mascara, and then I will be back to show you guys the pressed powder. Okay, so I just sort of popped on my look that I wear pretty much every day for work, just a little bit of mascara, brow gel, some blush, and um, Kosas lipstick in rose water. I actually apply a little bit of the lipstick onto my eyes too, just to give a little something special and to make my look tie in together. But I'm going to finish off my look by using the Kira Weiss powder in the areas that I get shiny, so in my T-zone, on the sides of my cheeks here and then a little bit on my chin. Like I said, I have done a full review of this so I am just going to be sort of skimming over points about it. The powder still does come in that beautiful red box. It swivels to open like the others and like everything in Kira Weiss, you can get the refill system. So this retails for $58 with the packaging and if you're just buying the refill, it is $36. And this is the one product that I'm showing you guys today that has a shorter shelf life, if I can say that, shorter shelf life. Life. try and say that five times fast it is six months from when you open it they only have one shade of this and it is translucent it is a very finely milled powder you do not see this on your skin it is hard to apply too much of it but what I do is I just take a big fluffy brush and I simply dab in it and then I sort of just press it loosely in the areas that I want now this is a slightly denser brush this is actually a new brush for me and although I like it and it's very soft if you are wanting a lighter powder finish, perhaps all over your face or getting in sort of the contours of your eyes, then I would suggest something a little bit looser and more domed shape like this. And then you just tap in again and really lightly go over the areas that you need some powder. So you don't lose any of the luminosity. What you lose is like the extra dewiness. So I still have a lot of light that is reflected on my forehead, which is wonderful. It's not like light stops reflecting and you just look matte. I find that what this does is it encourages light to come, but it doesn't um, bounce back quite as much and you don't have that shiny look. So that's why I think this makes a great powder really for a lot of people, but especially if you have oily skin. And then if you don't have oily skin and you have drier skin, but you are trying to wear makeup for a long time, then this helps to just set it in place. There is a bit of a scent with this, but I find it to be really fresh and nice. And there you go. As I said, still a lot of light coming off my face, but it's not shiny light. It's just reflective. So that is how I have been using the Kira Weiss Skin Trifecta to create sort of the perfect complexion for whatever look I'm doing, whether that be for a holiday party or a special event or just an everyday look I find that these products work really well in both spheres and I have been really enjoying using them I definitely encourage you guys to check out their website if you have any questions about their products they just have all the information on there shelf life ingredients how to use video tutorials it's just everything you need is right there and I find that so wonderful when a brand takes the time to really make sure that their customer is informed about how to use their products best and, and all of that good stuff so I want to say a massive thank you to Kira Weiss for sending me these three products products that I could try them on camera for you guys. I've had so much fun playing around with them and they have definitely become staples in my routine. As always, if you guys have any more questions, please just let me know in the comments down below. I'm so happy to answer anything that I didn't cover and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for videos always featuring clean green beauty. All the products I mentioned will always be linked down below and I hope you guys are having a happy holiday season. I know next week is Christmas and I am looking forward to that so yay. Uh, Merry Christmas and I will see you guys next week. Bye!